When we started the Ingnava's African Genome Challenge, we were confident that researchers in Africa have great projects and we never doubted receiving interesting and well thought submissions, as we have. We are now in the voting stages of the competition and we will share how the process will unfold at the end of the video. It's time to get those campaigns going. All videos received will be shared on our YouTube channel under the different categories, which are vertebrates, invertebrates and microbes, metagenomics, plants, East Africa and West Africa. We encourage viewers to watch all the videos, then you can vote to choose which one you think is best to win under the respective category. With so many things happening above ground and deep in the oceans, projects under this category are super interesting. Here are the video submissions for metagenomics. Enjoy! Coral reefs are some of the most biodiverse areas on the planet. Although they cover only a tiny portion of the ocean, they support nearly 25% of all marine life. Over half a billion people depend on these critical ecosystems for food, income and protection. While the visible life on the reef is breathtaking, this is just the tip of the iceberg with countless undiscovered creatures making their homes in the nooks and crannies of the reef. We are in a race against time to learn how to protect these amazing ecosystems before we lose them forever. Reefs worldwide are threatened by climate change and we are on track to lose over 90% of corals within the next 30 years. Mass coral bleaching has already devastated reefs across the globe. At Zambra, we are studying South Africa's unique reefs which are resisting this global decline in the hopes that they might help us avert this catastrophe. To do this, we need to understand the full extent of the biodiversity and complexity in our reefs and how they are interconnected. We do this using innovative sampling techniques coupled with cutting-edge genetic methods. Ngaba's pack biosystem would allow us to explore this vast wealth of hidden biodiversity with unprecedented depth and resolution, leading to the discovery of many fascinating new creatures and a much better understanding of the complex web of life that helps these reefs and the millions of people who depend on them thrive. Hello, my name is Paida, and I'm representing a team led by Prof. Percy from the Namibia University of Science and Technology from the Department of Natural and Applied Sciences. Our project is seeking to isolate and identify using whole genome sequencing pathogenic bacteria from the buccal cavity of zebra cobra snakes, scientifically known as Naja nigrisincta. The idea behind this project is to be able to identify bacteria that arise from wound infections after the venom situation has been dealt with. This project will allow us to better understand the bacteria and to know how best to treat them correctly. Furthermore, by, by sequencing these bacteria, we will be able to identify potential antibiotic targets. We hope you will also find our project interesting. Thank you. I'm Perrin Richardson. I am a master's student at Rhodes University in the Department of Entomology. Here at the Centre for Biological Control, I am part of a research project in collaboration with Stellenbosch University, where we seek to characterise the gut microbiome of the false codling moth, which is a natural agricultural pest in South Africa. We are doing this by comparing the gut microbiome of the false codling moth between a population of germ-free reared moth and a population of naturally reared moth. If we had the opportunity to use the SQL2 sequencer from PacBio, we would do a shotgun metagenomic analysis, which would allow us to create the first ever bacterial community profile of the false codling moth gut microbiome. We would like to thank Incaba for the opportunity to share our research and for considering our competition entry. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us. Now that you've watched all the videos from our applicants, let's discuss on how you can vote. On the comment section below, we have included the project's names from all our applicants in this insert, so you can simply vote by liking your favorite project. Don't worry, if you missed the project's name, we have also included the video number so you can go double check to see if you voted correctly. This process is open to everyone and we have no limits on the people who can vote for you. You're welcome to invite your colleagues, 
friends or family to vote for your project, of course, by liking it on our comment section. Voting will be open for the next three weeks and we will announce winners shortly after the closing date and the samples will be collected for sequencing on our pack bio system. This has been a lovely journey for the Ingaba Biotech team and we hope you enjoyed it too. We wish you all the best in the Ingaba's Africa Genome Challenge. See you at the winner's table. Goodbye.